What's good, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. We got the Vikings versus Packers, Week 17. I think I picked the Packers to win. Should be a competitive game. Another divisional matchup. Packers normally beat the Vikings, so we'll see how this one plays out. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button for me. Also, subscribe. Drop a comment down below. If you want to catch live reactions, hit the link in the description. Follow me on Twitch, and we'll jump to it. All right. Hey, Rod, right, one on one. Devontae Adams. Hey, I like that. Opens his account for the night. Aaron Jones hasn't really been too big of a factor this year, but. Ooh. It's like he has, but he hasn't. I feel like at least compared to last year. But A.J. Dillon has been getting more touches, and I feel like their offense has been just uh, a lot more surgical, a lot more balanced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Conklin been having a pretty good season. Oh, uh, yeah, he touched him. Oh, this is Sean Mannion? Oh, Kirk did have COVID. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right. The ring. Oh, good catch. Tried to make something out of nothing. Good defensive stop by the Vikings. Good tackle by Devondre Campbell. Vikings are doing a lot better than expected. Okay, we got Dalvin Cook. First sighting in this highlight, at least I believe. Mm, good catch. All right. Looks like we got a good drive. Looks like we have a good drive ahead of ourselves. Mm. Third and four. Six on the board. Ooh, I like the ooh, I like the spin attempt. I ain't got a lot. I like the attempt. AJ Dillon. Good block. They got some pretty good blocking receivers, if I'm being honest. Good job by Lazard. Ooh, gosh, good catch, my guy. Wow. Mm. Pressure all around the pocket. Mm. 
on the run. Harrison Smith chases him down. Can I get him? First and ten, Rodgers. Plenty of time. Get out to Aaron. Mm. Come on, man. Finally stopped, but still. Got him against 7 8. Somebody told me it was negative seven degrees before the game. Well, a kickoff. Easy money. You know who has that nice one-on-one -on -one ability that I saw today? Jamar Chase. Like that on the sideline, just easy. Just makes those tight contested catches. He made a lot of those today. So it is going in there. Oh, good catch. Going into the direction of a shutout. 20 0 at halftime. All right. Uh oh. Finally got out of there. He's 6'6? Six, six? I did not know that. Good kick. All right. Got some points on the board. Field goal in Lambeau history. Packs on the board. They get the ball to start the second half. Three catches, 30 yards for Jefferson. I can start off with the ball. Whoa. Had to be some miscommunication there. Looks like it could be a good return. Is that David Moore from the Seahawks? Hmm? Good push. Wow. I love those type of runs, bro. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of, a lot of credit goes to the O line. No guys don't get it, don't really get the credit for the touchdown, but they call they cause, you know. That's a good conversation. What's going to happen with COVID in the future? Yeah, tackle. You know, how are they going to continue to regulate this? We're going to go into our third season next year of uh, COVID-19. And so many players miss games because of it. Whoa. What was that? No Adam Thielen out there? Okay. The quarterback, you can tell by the pass set. Here is Rodgers with a shot for the end zone. Try to get it to Marquez Valdez. He tried to lead him. I don't know about that one. Or, or Valdez Cantlin slowed down. I don't know exactly what happened. Absolutely not. All right, 33. Nice lead. This game is pretty much over with. Let's see how much time we got left. Oof, got about four minutes left. What was Devontae talking about right there? Yeah, let me know. Oh, my. Oh. Just a huge, clean, legal hit on the back end. 
But for Bradbury to see that yep. is one thing. For Bradbury to make the catch is another thing. For Bradbury to run like he's a Savage, you gotta wrap up on that one, bro. That's a lineman. That's probably one of the biggest hits I've seen this year. Good catch by KJ. He's been nice, man. I gotta give it to him. I said that prior to the season that they need them a a solid number three receiver. They could even use a number four, but uh, I feel like he fills his role pretty well. But I think the ability for them to be able to spread the ball, to add that to the arsenal, go four wide at times, have a running back in the backfield, um, you know, doubles on both sides, whatever different formations to where they have multiple receivers on the field more often because they're a heavy run team. I think for them to have their versatility is very important because teams know that you're going to run it with Alvin Cook. Teams know that y'all going to do play action. Teams know, you know, the base formations that y'all run. So to have extra receiving threats would help. At least, you know, have other looks to go to. What they have is nice, but, you know, to have more, hey, the slide. Oh, that's all him. That was all him. Wow. Wow. And he got the hops. All right. Kellen Mond, okay. I think uh, he would have been better starting than Sean Mannion. No offense to Sean, but I would have rather seen a Ricky play. Jordan Love in. St. Brown out there. Lazar is still out there. Those Stokes still out there. So they got some starters still playing. So they put Manny in back in. Ooh. Good catch. What was that? Why do they put him back in? Wow. Chances of making that catch go up. Still into it on this ten degree night. Mannion. Deep shot. Oh. Do it here. And the Packers will take over and take a knee and take the number one seed. It is all so uh number one seed in the NFL, I assume, as well. As the NFC. So congrats to the Packers. Uh looking forward to see. Uh, how they do next week and uh, secure them a number one playoff spot in a uh, first round bye. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.